be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing in them, to die, to sleep, no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep perchance of the dream, aye, there is the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity for so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs despised love, the love's delay? The insolence of all and the spawns, the patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietest make, with a bear barking, who would find else bear, to grunt and swear under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born, no traveller's returns, puzzles the will, and make us rather bear those ills we have, than fly to those others that we know not of. Thus conscience does not make cowards of us all, unless the native hue of resolution is sickly o'er with a pale cast of thought, and enterprises of great pith and movement with disregard their currents turn awry, and lose the name of action. Soft you now, the fair Ophelia, nymph in thy horizons, be all my sins remembered. Alright then. Let's see, where was uh